Hi everyone. Today our crew is going to show you how to make money without any initial investment and completely passive. This guide is tailored to people who have a Raspberry Pi laying around. But this method also works for any other Windows machine. Other operating systems are not that different but if you prefer, you can check out our other videos for Linux, Mac, and smartphones. The way we earn money through this method, is by becoming a VPN. Most of you probably heard of NordVPN, we use software that gives you the opportunity to do the exact same thing that those VPN providers are doing. That means that we offer our internet bandwidth to other people in exchange for money. VPNs are important to protect privacy and even help society in countries that are under heavy online censorship. Important to note is that there is no limit on how much you can earn, but the rate of how much you earn per gigabyte depends on your location and type of IP address. The earnings are usually between 10 cents and $1 per gigabyte of traffic. So for example, if you would sell 10 gigabytes per day for a month at a rate of 50 cents per gigabyte, then that would accumulate to $150 a month or $1800 a year. Completely passive without any additional investment. Payment methods are usually, PayPal, Amazon gift cards and Bitcoin. We would really appreciate if you could like this video and hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. And now, back to the video. To start we need to flash our SD card. First we need to download the Pi image to flash our Pi. Just download and open it. Link in the description below. Open the file you just downloaded. Finish. After we start the program we choose the operation system. Raspberry BIOS without graphical interface. Then we need to choose our SD card. Then we hit write. Be warned it will erase all data from the SD card. And we're done. Now we put the SD card in the Pi and start it up. After it starts up. We got our terminal interface. The standard username is by. And the standard password is raspberry. After we've logged in, we have to update everything so we type in sudo apt update and sudo apt upgrade and lastly sudo apt dist upgrade this might not be necessary but we just want to be sure Now we have to check the bootloader firmware. For this we have to type in sudo rpi-ceprom-update On our system it shows bootloader is up to date. If there's an update available just type in the same as before. Just type up and add minus a. After we're done we reboot the machine and check if it's up to date. Now we need to download the Windows ISO with UUP dump. Since we are using a Pi we want the ARM version. Choose a stable version if possible.
Choose your language and hit next. Choose the Pro version if you like. You can see that we got an error. If you have the same problem, just get another version. Language OK. Next. Only the Pro version. Next. We want the updates, the net framework and he should clean up after he's done. Also we want to download and convert to ISO. Now we download the file. In our download folder we have to extract the zip file. Enter the new folder and open the CMD file as administrator. This takes quite a while now. Now when it's finished, press 0 to exit. Now we need to download the imager. Just click download. Link as usual in the description. Open the download folder and extract. And start the WOREXE. Choose your language, in this case English, and click Next. Here you choose which version of the Pi you have. Just OK the warning. Now choose your hard drive where you want your OS to be installed. Remember that it completely erases your drive. Now choose the image. That's the one we downloaded in the step before. Press next. Use the latest packages and next. Also use the latest firmware. You can leave everything as is selected. Press next. Small overview again. And install. Now this can take a while. Finish and done. Now connect the disk we just installed the operation on, and connect it to your Pi. Start up your Pi. Enter the BIOS of your Raspberry Pi. Keep hitting the key as soon as you connect your Pi to the power. Now, first we need to select the device manager. Select Raspberry Pi configuration. Put the CPU clock to max. Now we change the video resolution to 720. Go to advanced configuration and disable the RAM limitation. That's it for the BIOS. Enter and we are done here.
Now your pie should restart. After the pie restarted, we select which keyboard layout we want to use. We use a German keyboard, so we are also selecting German IBM. And skip, since we don't want to add an additional keyboard layout. Now we have to read through all of the license agreement. We already read it prior, so we can just blindly accept. Now we have to name our device. And next. Now your Pi should restart. We use our Pi for personal use. So we click that. And next. Here we can choose sign. In. Options. So we can choose offline account. Therefore we also want to skip. For now. This is now the user account name. After you've entered your username, hit next. Here you don't have to add a password. Now at the privacy. We don't want to get tracked from anything, so we disable everything. But you do you. And we hit accept since we have to agree to everything else anyway. We already pre installed Team Viewer off camera to access our Pi from our main PC, and also Brave Browser. We really recommend this one to earn additional crypto for free and get less ads. But use whatever you prefer. Now you can click on the link in our video description to get to earn app. Those links are affiliate links. But not only are we benefiting from these links, but you also get benefits. 5 bucks from one, 2 bucks from another and so on. We prefer to use our Google Mail address most of the time to not have to remember too many login credentials. If it asks you what version you want to download, just choose the operating system you use. You might have to put an exception to this app in your antivirus. The reason this happens is because Windows wants to prevent people from using your bandwidth. But in this case, this is exactly what we want. We just disable it for now, because we are lazy. After the download has finished, just open it. Click next and read their privacy policy and EULA. We already did that, so we don't have to. And we agree. We want the standard installation path and click install. After it's done installing, make sure both check marks are checked and hit finish. You really want the app to start automatically when your PC starts, otherwise you might miss out on quite a bit of money if you forget to turn it on. And believe me, you will. When the app starts read everything again and hit accept. Now earn app should open. If it's not there's an icon in bottom right corner of your taskbar. Click start earning. And if it's not checked, also click. Start on Windows Startup. Then click. Link device to your account. Now reload the Earn App Dashboard website and it should show your device. If the dot is red, that means that your device is offline. In this case it's red, because it takes a few minutes to show correctly. Now click on the Honey Gain link in our description. You get $5 as a starter bonus if you use our link. As usual we sign in with Google. As you can see, it already shows the $5 bonus.
Now we have to click Download for Windows. Now open the installation file. We click Next. Next. And install. After the installation is finished, the program should start automatically. Now read the terms of use carefully. As usual we already did that, so we can just accept. We skip the introduction, but you can read it if you want. As always we use Google to log in whenever possible. And you're connected. Now you can click on the icon in your taskbar. Make sure that launch on startup is checked. That's it. It might take a few minutes till the app realizes that you are connected. The next one is Packet Stream. As usual you can find the link in the description. This time, we sadly can't use Google Mail, so we have to sign up regularly. If it asks you what you want to do, click Earn Money. Now download for Windows. Start the installation file. Login. And, let's go. And that's it already. Last but not least is IP Royal. And again, links in the video description. On this one, we also can't use a Gmail account sadly. Click to download for Windows. Start the installation file. Next. Agree if you agree. Next 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 next. After the installation the app should start automatically. Login. And that's it already again. You're done. One last thing I would recommend is changing a few settings. Right click on the taskbar and click on system. Now go into advanced system settings. Click on settings under performance. Select. Adjust for best performance under visual effects. And apply. Now go to advanced. And change the virtual memory initial and maximum size to 4000 megabyte. and click OK. Now you are really done. Thanks everyone for watching. Let us know in the comments below if you want to see another topic that we should cover. Also let us know if you had any problem installing the programs. For more tips and tricks to earn passive income with our crew, just hit subscribe and the notification bell to never miss out on a good opportunity to earn money. If you liked this video, Please also consider giving us a like. We would really appreciate it. Have an epic day everyone.